I think it's no surprise that obviously, I think in terms of film industry, TV industry and kind of VOD and all of that piece is massive. I think the video game sector as well, all yeah. kinds of innovation happening there at the moment. You've got, so I've got an 11 year old, he's on Fortnite on his Xbox. <laughs> so you're seeing obviously global superstars now doing live concerts through the platform of Fortnite. And so it's as we've talked about, whilst it's certainly not Isaac Newton, it's perhaps a 21st century expression of completely new ways to kind of innovate um, during kind of really tough times. The derivative content that becomes available as well. So, you know, when we spoke at the start about some of the big brands like Jurassic and um, Illumination, so the Minions brands, Fast and Furious, and then you look at the derivative content that comes from those or, or alternatively the programs that we've talked about. So if you take Trolls, for example, you're right, there's games that become available and we've quickly gone and executed new games that are PC games or platform games. Um, there's uh, derivative content, just basic old school sweepstakes. You know, every time you look in a publication, there's an guess the film emojis. Um, so there's yeah. lots and lots of derivative. But I think what's even more exciting in a lot of ways is not just what comes from the big or independent studios, but is everybody themselves, the user generated derivative content has been yeah. phenomenal. If you are not enjoying what you're seeing on TikTok or Instagram these days, for me, it's really shifted from something that was super polished now to this really raw world yeah and we're all human beings we all like to you know be in our tracksuits or sometimes in our pjs and we all sing and dance around the house or you know get creative and build lego whatever that whatever your interests are but now people are really getting involved and to see big name talent get involved without makeup and cast and crew behind them it's pretty phenomenal marketing has always been rooted in that kind of real purpose authenticity yeah. Might kind of strip back. And obviously, here we are now with that being kind of really truly delivered. And I think, for me, I think as a marketer looking what, at what kind of great brands are doing, I mean, if I look to the US, I noticed that one of the things um, that I thought that was in terms of brands standing for something and really making a difference, I noticed that Hilton Hotels, I yeah. think they've done something whereby they're giving hotel accommodation to kind of frontline medical staff all free and I kind of feel that actually for marketing this could be a real kind of crucible moment where marketing really can make a difference in people's lives whether that be through entertainment whether that be through providing hotel accommodation for free for kind of key workers from yeah. your own perspective Kelly what what stuff are you seeing that's kind of inspiring you from perhaps other brands? Yeah, there's two brands that I think have done incredibly well. One of them um, is, it's another hotel brand. And what they're doing is they're trying to stem some of the outbreaks of COVID-19 in the homeless communities. Is they're actually moving families into their hotel rooms. These people are multi-generational homeless people. There are children living on the streets that it's not always associated with, particularly in the US, it's not always associated with drug and alcohol abuse. There mm. are people on the streets that are uh, on the streets for multiple of reasons. And everybody is given an opportunity to move into a hotel room, to have a hot shower, to have some food that's been prepared in a kitchen rather than out of a rubbish bin. So that kind of outreach is not only brilliant for people, but it's also stemming what's happening with COVID. You know, it's running rife. It's, the spread of COVID in homeless populations is incredibly high. Another brand, which is actually a UK brand, is Under One Sky. And they have gone out every single night night and actually working with the homeless population and making sure that when people aren't on the streets, when the, the general public aren't on the streets, the homeless people can't get food, they can't get money, their ability to panhandle has been taken away from them. And so therefore, this team under one sky is going out and providing food, providing sleeping bags, providing vouchers for when stores reopen. So, you know, there's a couple of areas which the homeless population in Los Angeles is so big that it's really close to my heart and seeing people really go out and support the homeless people um, in that way has been phenomenal. Then from a big brand perspective, 
I think Samsung did a lovely job. So with the recent Mother's Day, Samsung actually was putting mum in the picture. So yeah, look, they were absolutely, they were um, communicating about their phone, they were communicating about their photographic features on their phone. But more importantly was actually that they used real mums and they used that they weren't made up. So this was clearly filmed during COVID. They had the little, it was all blurred out on the side and there were pictures of mums just doing normal everyday things and it was just a real thank you to mums during this period so I think for those of us that are fortunate enough to have our mums around um, you know they're, they're going above and beyond so yeah. not only saying thank you to our frontline workers but we should also be saying thanks to our mums and our dads <laughs> that's so kind of how it works isn't it our mums oh and of course our dads <laughs> of course our dads <laughs> i think as we come through hopefully the other side of this as and when that starts to happen i think those brands that have really kind of stood out in positive ways i think we'll really remember those because i guess equally for some of the brands that perhaps haven't behaved mm. in perhaps the most kind of brilliant of ways but i think for me i just kind of think the opportunity actually or brands to really make that kind of difference. Communities, as you say, you know, working with the homeless and with society, I kind of, I almost think marketing in terms of really kind of having that powerful role to play has never been more important, really. There's so much more awareness now around mental health and particularly during COVID-19. So it brings to the forefront some of the issues that we've been as a communities around the world been trying to battle and actually give prominence to and, and really are not, whisper about you know mental illness there's been huge steps towards uncovering and making it a very common language um, situation but I look at under one sky and you know my hope is that they will become really well known and their funding will grow grow because of that I look at the hotel chain and I think you know your loyalty is second to none and now I would consider staying there over anywhere else yeah and then I look at all the people out there that are talking about mental illness Kate and Wills, they're doing their piece. Yep. Um, everybody's now really taking note and it's not this taboo subject. So things that were sort of borderline hushed up or not exposed for the greatness that they're doing is really coming to the forefront. I think that's where we'll change. Finally, Kelly, I mean, this has just been so lovely. Kind of, kind of get your thoughts and insights as a kind of a fellow marketer. From a personal point of view, maybe just to kind of close our chat, we've all kind of gone through huge challenges and kind of almost personal development through all of this. What do you think is the, the one thing that you've perhaps learned about yourself through COVID? Yeah, there's a couple of things. One is really quite simple. I have to be honest that I struggled to work from home and I struggled to be 100% accepting of the work from home environment. Mm -hmm. And I think it was my own expectations that I was putting on myself. I needed to prove that I was in the office and I worked yeah. long hours. And actually, yes, that still happens. In fact, probably more so at home. The lines have definitely been blurred now. Yeah. But I have absolute confidence in my team and trust at, at yeah. such a different level that that's been a real eye-opener for me. And I feel that I am very deeply engaged with my staff but I would say even more so beyond where I thought I would ever be. Checking in with them on a personal level, it, it's just in a different way. And the, and the final thing I'd say is that I love to push the boundaries. I love to explore new avenues and that creative thinking. Mm. But I've realised there's actually still more. There's more dark corners to go and explore or there's more opportunities even if we've tried something before let's try it again and instilling that in my staff because they haven't got the comfort in the confines of their office or their desk space they've got to really think differently and get their inspiration from somewhere else and I'm incredibly proud of all the work that everybody's put in to really be bold be disruptive and be totally creative amazing what a fabulous way to end <laughs> our conversation kelly all of what you've just talked about as you know is very kind of resonant with me um and i guess thank you so much it's been oh, so welcome. lovely having this conversation with you and i just think your eternal optimism um you know you are one of those people that will always be a beacon i think for your team through thank kind you. of times like this so you're one of life's radiators so thank you so much <laughs> 
all your kind of um, thoughts and, and kind of positive ideas. So, um, so I will say goodbye. I'm sure everyone has loved this conversation and um, I will speak to you soon, Kelly. Yeah, well, when the aeroplanes start flying back into the UK, let's connect. A hundred percent. Okay, you take care out there. Yeah, okay. you too. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Bye.